Okay guys, so let's go ahead and see how we can get the pending friend request for a particular user. And as usual, it's advisable to go ahead and try this out on your own. And then if you can't implement it, then you go ahead and see how we do it together. And if you succeed in implementing it, just look at this anyway, so you can see different ways of doing the same thing. Okay, so first of all, I instantiate a new array, a blank array users. I define a blank array. And the next thing is I'm gonna get all the friendships where the status is zero. Remember they're pending. So first of all, I filter by all the friendships where the status is zero, meaning they've not been accepted yet. And the next thing I do is actually get where the user requested is this ID. So it means all the friendships where this user was the re receiver of the friendship request. And then I'm just gonna get them so I get a collection. And for each of those friendships that I have, in my database, I'm gonna push an array, I'm gonna push a user to my user's array. So, and this user that I'm gonna push is the requester of that friendship. So the person who actually sent the friend request and it's gonna give me an array of all the pending friendship requests. So the, the users who from who this user has pending friendships. So let's go ahead and try this out in our web.php, which is just the easiest way. So first of all, let me just flash my database, PHP artisan, migrate, refresh. So PHP artisan tinker. So factory. Abuser creates five. Okay, so I have five dummy users in my database. So first of all, I find the user of ID one and I add, send a friend request to the user of ID four. So slash add friend. Okay, so it returns that request. And the next thing I do is actually get the pending friends of that particular user of ID four. So we should return one, which is the user of ID one. So pending request, pending friends. So there we have it. We have the user of ID one okay so the next thing we want to implement is uh the friends ids so get a list of all the ids of the friends of this user and this is simply going to be a useful method throughout the series okay for example in this particular file we're going to use this method so let's go ahead and see how we get only the ids and not user instances of all the friends of this particular user okay so first of all remember the friends method in our trait right here, this friends method is returning to us an array, okay? But as collections, Laravel provides, with, uh, provides us with a lot of helper methods. For example, the collect, for example, we can pluck out the IDs from a collection only. So first of all, I'll take this friends ID, this friends, so all the friends of this particular user. So when I get all the friends, I'll collect them, means change them from array to collection. And as soon as I have a collection, I'll pluck out the IDs, okay? So all the friends, and as soon as I get all the friends, pluck out the IDs and return to me the array of IDs that you plucked out, okay? So if I go ahead to test this, first of all, we need to have some friends for user four or user one. So I'll accept the friendship, Okay, so accept the friend from user one. So accept friend. So the friendship is accepted and I can go ahead and get all the IDs. So I'll create a new route. And uh, right here, I'll just say IDs of friends. And uh, right here, I'll just call friends IDs. And uh, I'll just find the user four. And this should return just an array of one ID, which should be the ID one. Okay, so there we go. So we have the list of ID of friends for that particular user. So if we go ahead again to our threads, another method I implemented is the is friends with. And this method receives the parameter, which is the ID of the user whose friendship with our user we are trying to check. So first of all, we have an in arrays method, which is the default PHP function. And the first parameter it takes is the needle. And the second parameter is the haystack. So maybe we have an integer and we're trying to check if that integer is found in an array. And in this case, our, our haystack, which is our array, is the IDs of the friends belonging to this user. Okay, so if in array, the user ID, which we passed, 
in this particular array which is the array of friends that we have from this method then we're just gonna re return a true or a false okay so to array here is simply converting the result from this method to an array because it actually since we collected it it's returning an object once we plug the ids or we can actually just get the two array right here so we get the array and we just check this friends like this so we can just first of all get an array right here and then we just say this friends method once we call this method it returns an array and we check if this id is in this friends in this array that was passed from this method okay and if it's true it's we're just gonna return a 200 saying true and if it's false we're just gonna return a 200 saying false okay so let's go ahead and try out that method so let's just go ahead and create a new route is friends so let's just say is friends and i will say is friends with maybe the user of one and this should obviously return true so let's go to the slash is route and this returns true and uh, we can actually just do the reverse so let's check if user with id one is friends with id four and this should also return true it does and uh, let's just check if the user with id one is friends with user with id two it should return false okay and it does okay so that's the method we implemented we can check if a user is friends with another okay so another method we might probably want to implement is has pending request from so go ahead and check that out so to check if a user has a pending request from a particular user